Hi guys, I'm Fox and today I will be trying out the Maybelline New York uh, The City Kits Pink Edge Palette. This includes in itself uh, not only two eyeshadow looks, which gives you a guide on the back, but also a highlighter and a blush that I'm also trying out today. And in a bonus to that, I've seen a lot of hype around the Total Temptation Mascara and I'm also trying that. So I'm trying out these two products today, then I'm leaving for a few hours and checking in back again later on today to see how it all held up and what are my thoughts about the products. I have my base done today, I'm using the NYX stick foundation which I cannot find to save my life now. And I have my eyebrows done, I've done a little bit of contouring, so let's focus now on the eyes. I have not yet put on any concealer just to see if there's any fallout or how, this, how the eyeshadows work on me. And we will conceal those uh, blue bad boys afterwards. So I am trying out the City Kids Pink Edge Maybelline New York Eye and Cheek Palette. And it looks like uh, this. My plan is to follow the instructions that are on the back of the packaging and I feel like I will be going for the pinkish shades. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit pink today. And I also think that it will go well together with the blush and the highlight as well. So I do have some of my brushes here that I will be using. Okay, let's see. Number one. Okay, so the number one shade goes all over the lid up until eyebrow. I will be taking the biggest brush right here and going in with the, this shade right here, going all over my lid. Wow, that's a lot of eyeshadow. I was too lazy to find my eyeshadow base, so I'm rolling with con not concealer, the foundation stick also on, on my eyelids. Hopefully it does not affect too much of the result, how the eyeshadows perform, but I don't know. Some people just use pure foundation uh, on top of their eyelids as well. Some use eyeshadow base and some people think that there is absolutely no difference whatsoever what product you use. So Then we, we move on to number two. Number two goes just on the lid, taking the shade number two. Uh, this crumbled up quite a bit. And just on the lid. Can we see a different? Shade number three goes in the inner corner. Usually inner corner is left for the last. Okay, and shade number three is this one right here. How is, how is that going in the inner corner? Usually it's... I will not think too much about this. It's not that bad. Inner corner is filled right here. I think I took it a little bit too far on this eye, but oh well. I will be taking the last eyeshadow shade and that goes into the crease. For that I'm taking uh, this uh, brush and shade number four is this one right here. Well, that blends really nicely and a little bit goes a long way. Watch me do both eyes incorrectly. <laughs> Okay, well, this I did better as perfectly usual. This is how it looks, not blended out. So I've used all four of the shades that I'm supposed to use for this one I look. And as usual, I'm taking a big fluffy brush and going all over the eye to blend out that crease. Wow, that's a little bit better. I am missing a little bit of the lightest shade on this eye, so I will be going back in with the fluffy brush, taking the second eyeshadow and putting it a little bit in the middle because I feel like everything has blended in itself a little bit and putting it on the other side as well. Maybe a little bit more of the third shade as well, just to get the color in the inner, inner corner. Eyeshadow on top is kind of finished, so I will be putting on some concealer. And today I'm going in with my usual liquid camouflage from Catrice. Okay, I have this very, very small brush. I can't even see like it's 
whatever. Uh, taking this very small brush and I will be taking the second shade that we put on the lid and I want to put it right under and leave on the lower lash line. You can see a difference probably. <laughs> Getting so overexposed. I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to find perfect filming spot which might take a little while so bear with me. Then for the blush, um, I've been using a very big fluffy brush for um, the blush specifically because I feel that it blends it out as it goes and doesn't have to make me worry that there will be a huge streak of blush that I'm not able to fix. The blush is right here, this one, and let's see how the big brush takes it up. Quite pretty. I don't know. Let's take the excess off. Oh wow, that disappeared completely from the brush. Oh, here we go. Can't tell if it's too much or not. Back up a little bit. I think it might be a little bit too much. Okay, and then for the face itself, lastly we are taking the highlighter, which is this one right here, and I will be putting it on the usual spots where I put uh, the highlighter. That is super powdery. Not sure if you can tell on camera or even see it, but it's not the sort of blinding highlight that you might expect. It gives like a little bit of a sheen on top. On a hand it looks very, how to say, pale. It doesn't give like a highlighting effect, it just it looks like an eyeshadow and a very powdery, powdery eyeshadow that just gives little tiny tiny freckles of glitter in it. Well, you sort of can't see it, like it does reflect light a little bit if I look in the mirror, but it's not the usual highlight that I would go for or I believe that a lot of people would expect to have as a highlighter. Moving on to the Total Temptation Mascara. I have not even opened this yet. Why do I have a feeling that I will not be able to? normally open it. I don't have enough strength. Trying out the Total Temptation Mascara. Let's see how it looks right here. Just to lessen the change, ch changes, just to lessen the chance of me ruining the whole eyeshadow right there, I will not be curling my lashes and just going with it as I, I do. I got a tiny dot already. Okay, so you can see one eye done with the mascara and the other eye not. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a mascara pro anymore. I used to be in my middle school, I think. But ever since I found falsies, like nothing compares to what they do. It's also not written on the packaging what this mascara is supposed to do, so I don't know. Mascara is a mascara. <laughs> well, that's the look for today. What is that accent? I don't know. All right. So that is it. My plan uh, yet again is to leave the house for a few hours, uh, walk around, maybe do some shopping and then I will be back to check in and see how the mascara has held up, if the eyeshadows are there still in the place or not. And yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Fox and today I have finally, no I said that like in the last time, no. Hi guys, I'm Fox and today I will be trying out the Maybelline New York uh, The City Kits Pink Edge Palette. This includes in itself uh, not only two eyeshadow looks, which gives you a guide on the back, but also a highlighter and a blush that I'm also trying out today. And in a bonus to that, I've seen a lot of hype around the Total Temptation Mascara, and I'm also trying that, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? I don't know. So, I'm trying out these two products today. Um, 
continue to watching to see how I apply them and how they look during the process. Then I'm leaving for a few hours and checking in back again later on today to see how it all held up and what are my thoughts about the products and anything else that I might think. Well, as it usually goes, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Keep watching. See you soon. Hello. It is now at least five hours later, I'm back from doing all the errands, walking around, a little bit of shopping, <laughs> and what can I say about my today's first impressions about the palette and mascara as well. Uh, just to zoom in, the eyeshadow has sort of blended itself into everything. Um, the lighter shade has still stayed the same on my lid in the middle part, so that's really nice. I can also see a little difference in color in the inner corners that we put there, but other than that, I feel that the crease and the lid itself has mostly blended together. And when it comes to mascara, no complaints at all. Uh, my concealer creases always don't mind that, but I've not had a uh, not had any crumbles down under my eyes, the mascara is still holding up pretty nicely and nothing bad that I could say about it. So overall I am very impressed with the blush as it has still stayed on the face and not disappeared whatsoever, I really really enjoy that. I also got some compliments today on my makeup look which means that this palette is a working good. Just to go a little bit through the shades oh, one more time or so to say, I just wanted to do some finger swatches so you can see how rest of the shades look on my very pale skin. You have seen all of these shades right here, so I will be swatching only these ones. And I will be going in the section of first, second, third and fourth. Color number two. Pump is basically does not swatch at all. Yeah, it stays on my finger, but it does not appear over here, as you can see. Uh, really not impressed with the second color whatsoever. And there you have it. Shade number one, shade number two, shade number three, and shade number four. If we take a closer look at the shadows themselves, you can see where I have swatched them. And the shade is a little bit shade. Why do I keep them calling shades? It's eyeshadows. It is a little bit ruined right here. I assume they were 10 times better used with brushes rather than fingers, but that's just an assumption. I can't comment more on that. Overall, I am satisfied with this palette itself. I have yet to try out rest of the colors, but at least the blush worked really good. Would I buy the palette just for the blush? No. I have plenty enough of other blushes that have work wonders for me and stay on the face all day long, but used together with these uh, eyeshadows, I believe it all sort of makes a harmony on the face. Seems logical to me why you would use all of these together on one face in one makeup look. That will be it for today, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and then I'll see you next time. Goodbye!